Hi guys, I'm Prateek Singh. In this video, we're actually going to talk about something interesting. We first started this module by talking about technical analysis. We covered canistic patterns. And then we said there is a need to quantify our decisions using some tools. And we learned about indicators. Now, the reason that people like indicators is because it's number based, right? And based on a number, you can make a buying or selling decision. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the moving average and develop a very, very simple system to just understand how we can put all of this together and how traders actually use this tool to make buy or sell decisions. Please note, this is a very popular, very simple system. And there are other systems you can actually use to make better decisions perhaps, but this is a great way to get started. So we're gonna use two exponential moving averages. One will be 50, the other one will be 100. And we will just make our decisions based on a cross. The shorter moving average or the 50 moving average actually is the faster moving average. The longer exponential moving average actually is 100 and that is slower than that. Now, the rule is very simple. When the shorter moving average is greater than the longer moving average, then you would buy and stay in that long position for as long as possible. You would exit or sell when the shorter moving average is lower than the greater moving average. So if you notice, this will create a cross under and a cross over. So let's see what this looks like on a chart. It's far more easier to see visually. So I've opened Gujarat gas over here. It's the daily time frame, uh, And we can see that the yellow line is the 100 EMA or the longer EMA. And the white line is the 50 EMA or the faster EMA. Now we can see over here, as the market is falling down, the yellow is on top and the white is at the bottom. Somewhere over here, a crossover occurs and I'm just zooming in. You can see that for the first time, the white is crossing and moving above the yellow line, giving us a cross under and that triggers our first buy. This means we'll hold on to this position for as long as possible until that white line goes below the yellow. So now I want you to just look at these two lines and see as these white lines separate, it means the trend is getting stronger. When the white line goes below yellow, that's our exit. So let's see when that happens. The market keeps going up. As you can see, they're converging now. They're converging. Now they diverge again because the market starts moving up. So you're still holding on. You're still holding on. And right here after the market falls, the crossover has not happened yet. You'd still hold. You'd still hold and I'll scroll very fast ahead now. And this stock has actually not given an exit yet. But you get my point. Since it's a trend following strategy, you're still holding on to it. Hypothetically though, if the market fell a lot and that white line went below the yellow, that would be your exit. So just curious to know that your entry would have been somewhere around the 148 mark and um, the stock is trading at 770 right now. So in this case, uh, it did extremely well. This is not normal, but I thought it's a good example. Uh, let's find another example where we can see something more realistic. So let's look at Voltas. And over here, I can see that the yellow bar, the yellow line or the longer period EMAs is higher. And then the white crosses somewhere here. So our entry would be at the close of this bar. Uh, that would be 625 and you'd hold on to this market moves up it takes many many months and finally we get a cross over somewhere here and that is at 594 that would be your exit so basically a cross under is your entry and a cross over is your exit and that's it so notice this kind of system doesn't have a target or a stop loss it simply relies on the movement of the indicators to give you an entry and an exit. But the good thing is everything is quantified. You can actually check if a moving average is greater than or smaller than the other moving average and take a buy or sell decision. Ideally, all decisions in the stock market should be 
objective in nature. It just makes life easier for the trader. The more subjective it is, the harder it is to do consistently over a period of time. So I want to show you um, some more examples. Like we saw Gujarat Gas, when trend following works, it really works, right? And you tend to hold that stock for a really, really long time. But when the stock moves in a sideways trend, you'll get a lot of whipsaws. A whipsaw is basically wrong trades, trades where you get in and out again and again, and there's no trend at all. So let's see some examples. We can see here in ITC, uh, 2015, there was a buy signal right here. There was a cross. And then immediately after there was an exit, there was another buy here. And immediately after that, there was an exit. Um, if you go ahead in time, we can see that there was an attempt to be across here and then a buy signal, again, a sell signal. So in a sideways range, uh, you will get entries and exits and it will all result in losses. And that's just how all trend following works, that most trades are actually lead to no trend. They lead to losses, but that one or two really good entries um, give you a huge sixer and hitting that home run within uh, a trend following system is what actually makes it work. So say out of 10 trades, maybe three trades would give you huge, huge profits and the other six, maybe even seven would not give you any profits at all, probably be even losses. So all trend following systems, whether it's the moving average crossover or any other that you learn maybe on the web, they all have this feature that you have to hold on uh, to the winners for a really long time, get rid of your losers really quickly. Another note is that the 50 and 100 is not standard to be used for all moving average systems. You could change the combination. For example, you could use a 9-day EMA with a 21-day EMA. This would give you maybe a very short trading signal. So your entries and exits will be much, much closer. If you use, say, 25 EMA and 50-day EMA, it would give you um, trades for up to a few weeks. So it's like a medium term outlook. If you want to go something that goes over months, you could use 50 day and 100 day like we did, where the trade could last months and months. You could also use the 100 and 200 day EMA where trades could last years on end. So it's a matter of your personal choice, your personality of what combination that works for you. Key takeaways from this video are, 